Okay, today is July 20th and the entire tail section is, is Clecoed and some of it is bolted together. Uh, I'm mainly uh, starting from the rear and working forward. I've basically got this first one done. <clears throat> the rest of the tail is now attached to the cabin, which I think, if I recall correctly, uh, is those two pieces that uh, that go up to the cabin uh, and this uh, extender wasn't there as well <coughs> so uh, that's been done you can see there's a clamp there uh, I need to do some small adjustments to uh, to get that to line up it's not a big deal uh, it's just uh, there's no point in adjusting it until everything else is done so it'll be exactly as it needs to be uh, some of the uh, Trepidation was warranted on uh, misaligned holes. Some of it wasn't. Uh, this one here ended up lining up perfectly, as did that one. Uh, I don't remember exactly which ones had some issues. There's some clamps on that one, but it will line up. Uh, this one is going to be a little off. Uh, I think this one is the only one that was uh, that was significantly off. Uh, this one here is. Uh, looked like it was going to be off but it actually ended up lining up so uh, that one's fine it's just this one uh, the uh, some of the the holes don't quite line up properly but uh, you know once I get everything bolted together and uh, completely uh, squared away uh, th that may line I don't think it will because I don't think there's enough movement because they're, they're they're a little bit too far off for it to to end up lining up to the the factory drilled holes but anyway this this long one here uh, is fine this center section here uh, you can see it's uh, well it's kind of hard to tell with the maybe not maybe if I hold the camera real still it's still listing slightly to the uh, to my left I guess to the uh, to the right if you uh, if you're looking at it from the cabin point of view but uh, to the camera's left, you can see it's just ever so slightly listing to the to the left, and uh, there's plenty of movement that can be uh, corrected there. Uh, it's just a matter of you know straightening everything as it gets bolted up and tightened up and everything, uh, and I can start you know pulling it together. The big thing though, why it's not completely uh, uh, square is just because there's an X that goes right. If I back up here, <coughs> uh, there's no X there, but uh, there's an X there and there's an X there that I haven't installed yet. And I'm going to hold off putting those in until I get all the, the, the bolting done. So I should mention, this does take forever. <laughs> you can't just uh, uh, take all the Clecos out, drill them, countersink them, and put the, the bolts in because everything would fall apart. So you got to cut... Uh, uh, do uh, pull out a couple Clecos, drill those holes, countersink them, put the bolts in, take the rest of the Clecos out, do those, then move on to the top part. And there's so many bolts. Uh, I did do some uh, initial measurements and stuff for uh, uh, for the uh, weldment. Uh, there's a plate, a triangular plate that goes on there, and then there's a steel plate that goes against that with a tube that's welded to the other tubes. Uh, so uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but there's like a tube that run, runs across the plate that the other tubes that go this way are welded to. Uh, and that makes a, a really rigid triangle coming from here up to, uh, you know, about here somewhere. Uh, I think it's about here somewhere. Uh, and that's also near where the uh, uh, fuel lines are going. I think that'll be more interesting as I get bored. Uh, just constantly, you know, drilling holes and, and putting bolts in, but uh, it is coming together. So what's left is just uh, bolting this together and uh, a little bit of adjustment there, the uh, floor, uh, firewall, and that weldment. Uh, the weldment uh, is what's going to take the, the longest because I've got to cut a bunch of plates uh, and, and weld them up uh, and then uh, angle the tubes uh, build another uh, plate with a tube welded on there and the, of course the same for for that side so <clears throat> that'll probably take a day just to do that uh, and then there's you know 
just bolting all this crap together and uh, and uh, uh, fixing that little misalignment there. It's just the gusset's it's a little bit too big. Uh, it needs to uh, it needs to be shaved down to uh, uh, to be properly aligned with the, the cabin. Okay, today is Sunday, July 25th, and basically uh, all of this up to there uh, is bolted on both sides. Uh, that is a lot of work. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the uh, At first it doesn't seem like it would be the, that much work, but... Uh, uh, drilling and reaming and countersinking that many uh, holes and, and putting in bolts and tighten them down uh, it's uh, it's a chore <clears throat> so uh, both sides are done up to that spot uh, what's left is uh, there's some if I can put my phone there uh, there's two X's that need to go in here that will uh, ultimately completely straighten the flank frame uh, it still slightly leans to the, to the right but I'm not worried about it because I know it'll, it'll straighten out once I put those in there so <clears throat> that's the the state of affairs here and I thought I was going to uh, get some work done on uh, putting those fuel lines in that, that go there and and run down to about here but uh, that didn't happen and for whatever reason, uh, where I live, just trying to get a uh, uh, a fuel line bending tool is just ridiculously hard to do. So I'm just going to order one on Amazon. Uh, they don't have them at Home Depot. They don't have them at Har Har Harbor Freight. They had a, I was able to find a flaring kit, so at least I, I got that done. But yeah, I'm going to just have to order one on Amazon to, to get that done. And of course, there's still the uh, the weldment to do. Uh, the floor still needs to go in, and the uh, the firewall still needs to go in. And of course, uh, all that stuff that's that's bolted in the front there needs to uh, come off in order to uh, uh, to size, like cut the firewall to size and, and put it in in there. So that's that's a job too, because that was a that was a real sob to get all that bolted together. <laughs> now I got to take it apart. But uh, yeah, I guess the uh, uh, the main deal is to just get the rest of this bolted. Uh, I think uh, some of this was done, but uh, I basically did two sections in the space of about four, five hours. So it, it is really time intensive. Uh, it's probably closer to four hours, but still. So, you know, I'm probably looking at, uh, you know, a full day uh, of getting that uh, and this uh, completely bolted in. And this here needs some adjustment. Uh, it's a little hard to tell with the camera. Well, I guess you can sort of see it. It sticks out a little bit. That needs to be uh, adjusted a little bit so it, it fits flush with the, the cabin. Uh, the uh, issue with the holes that didn't line up, get this out of here. Uh, the issue with the uh, holes that didn't light line up uh, this one here is probably and you can see I started drilling oops <laughs> that's not the right spot so there's a, a, a kind of a half drilled hole there uh, that, that shouldn't be there but uh, uh, this one here just about uh, lined up but uh, and it's really hard to show the bottom of it but uh, the holes, uh, especially on right here, uh, really didn't line up well at all. Uh, I had to drill completely new holes. Uh, the rest of it pretty much did uh, with some, some finagling. Uh, some better than others, but uh, basically, uh, the, the, it, it's basically, I think, just this section here. Uh, I didn't really have much trouble with that section or the, you know, the, the those just were just an erector set. All the holes lined up, there was no issues. Uh, it's basically this one. Uh, there's a few issues over here. You can see with clamps that where the Clecos just didn't line up well. Uh, you can see on that end that they, they pretty much did. So, you know, basically 
Uh, and it was more this side th than that side, but this side didn't line up well, and uh, some of this d doesn't line up well. It does, but there's some that just, they just uh, even the smallest Clicos, I can't get them in there. Just the holes don't line up perfectly. But uh, uh, it's, it's going together well. Okay, today is Friday, July 30th. And uh, I haven't gotten a whole lot done since the last video, so this one, this segment, I'll probably just put them all together, but this uh, segment is basically just going to cover what I did here. If you look at this gusset, you're like, what the heck is going on there? Why is it so complicated? Uh, that gusset is a, supposed to be a mirror image of this one, and... Uh, If you look at this one, and it may be a little difficult to, to gauge, uh, I guess I could put a ruler on it, but I'll just tell you, uh, this one here is uh, significantly shorter. Like the this part here is fine, uh, and the height and everything, but it's significantly shorter this way than, uh, than that one over there, because that one fits perfectly, or reasonably perfect. Uh, uh, this one is perfect, except that uh, it's kind of the wrong size. <laughs> so basically what I did was I made another uh, piece uh, to extend that. So there's an extra two bolts on this one in order to fasten that gusset to make it long enough to uh, attach to, uh, to that piece there. Uh, if you look here, there's also a little spacer in there. To, uh, uh, to keep everything even, of course. Uh, and you know, it's not perfect, but it's good enough. Nobody's gonna, uh, uh, nobody's gonna see it once the, the skin is on anyway. So it's a small issue, but uh, <laughs> it took a little uh, extra time to, uh, to, uh, to fix that little uh, issue. Uh, the rest of these pretty much went together okay. Uh, all the bolting is done. Man, there's a lot of bolts on these uh, uh, on this section, so you can you can see, but uh, disregarding you know the extra little bit of work I had to do with the making the extension, uh, you know, there's a lot of hardware holding that together, uh, and you know uh, similar thing you know going on up here. So uh, a big part of tomorrow, uh, assuming I get out here tomorrow, is is going to be doing that one and you know the rest of this and. Uh, to be honest, I don't know if I'm even going to get to that because uh, that has a lot of work uh, uh, drilling those and reaming them all and countersinking them, especially, you know, it's so low. I probably could do a little bit better setup so it wasn't so difficult, but uh, the way it's set up right now, uh, you know, I'm using that uh, angle drill there to uh, uh, to do the countersinking, so it, it gets the job done. It's just going slow. And you know, there's there's another one that has just as many bolts up here, and same thing for for up there. So it's going to be a while. And uh, some of my uh, uh, worries about it, you know, uh, fitting together well, have been assuaged. Uh, uh, very few of these have uh, holes that don't match. Um, I believe that one does um, uh, I'd have to go back and look at all my photos to be sure but uh, a couple of these do have holes that didn't quite line up but just about all of them finally did uh, work out so not as big a deal as I, as I thought it would be and, and you can see there I still have one more to put in that I didn't even see so uh, it's gonna uh, be a little while I'll probably be the rest of the weekend uh, if I can get out here uh, Saturday and Sunday uh, getting the, the rest of this bolted. It takes a long time. Uh, and then of course the, the weldment that I keep mentioning in pretty much every video I keep putting it off but uh, eventually it'll get done. So that's the progress for July 30th. Okay today is Saturday August 7th and all of this is done except for that one corner and I am just so beat that I don't want to finish it. I'll come back probably tomorrow and, and finish that corner. 
the reason I'm beat is because this is really tight and it's really tough to get the uh, the bolts up in there. Uh, but I got it done. So uh, everything is bolted together, uh, in, including these big pieces, uh, the uh, corners. Uh, I actually upsized the uh, bolts in a couple places in the corners here. Uh, just because I had a lot of the uh, uh, S49 uh, screws, so I, uh, I I replaced the the ones in the corner there with with where it attaches to the frame, not all of them, but where it attaches to the frame, I uh, I upsized the bolts because I had a lot of extras <coughs> or screws, I guess. Uh, so uh, all of this is done on both sides. The only thing that's left is if looking down. The, that way there's a bunch of uh, X's that need to uh, uh, you know go like that there's uh, I think there's two of them that need to be done and that'll uh, completely straighten everything uh, at least hopefully uh, I may have to uh, loosen some things and uh, and jiggle it around a little bit to uh, to get it to perfectly align uh, you can't really tell in the video but it isn't perfectly perfectly aligned uh, I'm hoping that uh, uh, putting those X's in will uh, correct a lot of that, but uh, if not, uh, I've got a little bit of work ahead of me to uh, to loosen loosen it in a few places and and move it around and get it straight. So <clears throat> that's the job. Uh, probably tomorrow is to put those final X's in. Do that one corner over there. Uh, one thing I should mention uh, for anybody who's planning on building one. Uh, these two pieces, and I forget the names offhand, they are uh, those. Um, those go on in a, uh, a later step. Because um, I was curious, why do I still have these leftovers? Because uh, I, I used up, other than you know, these uh, pieces that are left over from uh, cutting uh, fabricated parts, but... Uh, uh, those two uh, are deliberately left over. They're uh, part of a, another step in, in one of the uh, the other packages. Uh, you get those in this kit, but you actually uh, they don't actually go on till till later. Uh, I forget offhand which uh, uh, package it is. I have to go look at the uh, the drawings. I have all the drawings. I just haven't gone and looked. <clears throat> so uh, that's the this is the. Uh, uh, fuel lines that are going in and the kind of dark blackish dark grayish pieces the chromoly that needs to be uh, welded and there's a uh, steel plate there's a steel plate that also needs to be uh, cut to size and everything so so that's where it sits now there's just the frame is just about done uh, very close to uh, to starting on a new, uh, completely new uh, uh, section of the, the kit, so that'll be awesome. Okay, today is Sunday, August 8th, and uh, uh, I believe I finished that one last night, and uh, finished uh, this one up today. I uh, don't know if you can see, just get up there uh, there's a s slight modification to get it uh, perfectly uh, uh, straight and uh, even with the uh, the back pillar there but uh, uh, everything worked out so uh, this is all done uh, I started one of these X's uh, so this first one is done and somehow I don't know how I missed it but uh, there's a couple of uh, gussets that I didn't even put in so uh, uh, normally I would have just finished those today but uh, uh, I didn't really think it was possible but I actually ran out of uh, washer so I'm gonna go, have to go get some more before uh, before I finish that and today is hot and muggy and I don't really want to work anymore on it today so it's a good stopping point so that uh, uh, those two uh, pieces here uh, are the same as these they're just a little bit smaller uh, those will make a, an X in there and then that's done. Uh, the only thing left on the tail is, uh, and you can see it needs a little bit of adjustment. So 
uh, you know, I'll be spending some time uh, next time I'm out here, uh, probably loosening things up and uh, and getting everything perfectly square. Uh, it just kind of leans a little bit to the uh, to the right. It's not a, a huge deal. It just needs to be straightened before everything is called can be considered done. Uh, there's uh, a few pieces uh, that still need to go on the uh, back here, and I believe there's even a small amount of fabrication. So that's that's pretty much it for the tail. And someone, uh, before I forget, someone had actually suggested, and it's probably a good idea, uh, I might actually, depends on how, how much it costs, uh, put in the uh, the plate for the uh, the tail wheel in case I ever want to do that because once the skin is on, it's uh, it would be a bit of a nightmare to try and put it in uh, afterward. Uh, so I'll think about that and, uh, and maybe consider doing that before uh, uh, before I put the the skin and everything on uh, up here uh, the fuel lines still need to go in uh, so that is coming up and of course the the weldment uh, there's a big uh, piece of steel that I need to cut up to the right shape and everything and some chromoly uh, tubes that need to be cut and uh, and welded uh, and uh, you know screwed in uh, there I think I've mentioned that in previous videos uh, just kind of putting it off until uh, uh, everything else is done uh, and same goes with the uh, the firewall and the, the floor it just needs to be uh, cut to size and uh, and uh, <coughs> riveted in uh, in the case of the floor and bolted in, in the case of the firewall uh, regarding the firewall uh, a lot of these bolts will have to come out which is going to be a sad day because uh, I got to take those all that work to put those in <laughs> take them out uh, uh, get the uh, the firewall in there and then and then put them back in which is probably a uh, less of a deal than I'm making it out to be but uh, that those will all have to a lot of those will have to come out before uh, uh, so I can put the firewall in <clears throat> uh, but uh, the tail is done uh, other than a few minor things uh, it's all bolted and uh, attached to the cabin, and the uh, uh, the supports are not there anymore. Uh, you can see kind of the the, the balance of it so far. Uh, I'm putting very little pressure on the back of the tail, and I'm able to uh, to rock that up and down. So the the balance is already starting to kind of come into to play there. Of course, there's a lot more that needs to go on it, but it gives you an idea where the balance is so far. Uh, I don't know how many pounds of pressure on maybe five six seven pounds of pressure I'm putting on the back of that so uh, that's what I'm that's where I'm gonna leave off today uh, probably won't get to it for another couple days but uh, uh, when I do get back to it I should be able to finish that uh, little X in there and uh, the, this little bit at the back um, I don't know if I will get the uh, fuel lines and all the weldment and stuff done in the front there because uh, that's a little bit more work, but uh, I'll definitely uh, sometime this week be getting back to the tail and get that finished off. So that's it for August 8th. Thanks for watching.